on branching models and managing complexity. This is a topic that often comes up during trainings or during conversations with uh, coaching clients. How do you manage your branching models, especially in an embedded systems context where there is more complexity than in quote unquote, only software based products? The answer is, it doesn't really matter. The complexity is the complexity and it's there and you have different strategies of dealing with it and they all have different advantages and disadvantages. So what am I talking about in the first place? Um, if you are familiar with version control systems, you know that they have, you know, this what's called a directed acyclic graph. So there is a sort of tree shaped structure of how different iterations of your product go together. And there are different strategies. You've got um, you've got the, the famous Envy model. Um, you've got Git flow. Uh, you've got GitHub flow, GitLab flow, all of those different derivatives of, of what was called the Envy model. And it you know it, it's it's weirdly appealing to engineers because it's got so many different branches and they've got nice structures and explanations and reasons and there's mechanisms but you know it just it gets very confusing because you've got all of the different all of these different swim lanes and and things go from from here to there and from there to here and so many organizations have now said now this is a terrible idea we should be doing this in a really simple way we just go uh for one mainline branch so this is what's called trunk based development you just have one sort of central flow in the trunk, uh, this ideally would always be in a deployable state. And then of course you get questions like, okay, how do I deal with different uh, versions of my product? Different spins, different, you know, bespoke customer specific changes, etc., etc. How do I deal with external dependencies? And then you, you know, you build yourself some kind of a system, maybe you have artifact management, so all of the different um, uh, all of the different artifacts that come out of your trunk based development get collected in this in this artifact repository and get managed there, for instance. This is one way you could do it. Or you split stuff out into many different repositories, parallel repositories. So each, I don't know, each microservice gets split out into a different repository, separate repository, and they're all sort of trunk based. But the bottom line is the complexity stays the complexity. If you have dependencies between your product or the different elements of your product, it doesn't really matter whether you are managing them in the Envy model in this big tree uh, within a single repository or whether you're managing them over here in, in your artifact repository or whether you're managing them as and broken out as a bunch of different repositories and having re relationships between those different repositories. The complexity is the complexity and you are welcome to, to manage the complexity however you like and all of the different approaches have different drawbacks. So I think the bottom line here is uh, just go with whatever works for you, whatever you feel most at home with, most comfortable with. But because at the end of the day, this is all about communication between humans. You're trying to express relationship between things and the things don't care about it. The humans trying to figure this stuff out, they care about it. So speak the language that the particular humans you are speaking to understand the best. And if that happens to be feature flags, like in track based development, then fine, use feature flags. And if it's a bunch of parallel repositories, then fine, use parallel repositories. Just make sure that you figure out how to deal with that complexity.